PCB Way is one of the leading PCB manufacturers out there and it is the manufacturer I use for my products. Now, if you're either a hobbyist and or looking to create a final product, PCB Way is going to be a really great choice with their 24 hour and also assembly services. So go ahead and check the links down below. Today we're going to be looking at two cameras from Runcam. We're going to be testing its latency, also its weight, and just checking over its accessories here. So what we're going to be testing today is Runcam Nano 4. So this is a nano camera, super tiny, and this thing weighs 3 grams. Now my scale isn't the most accurate, so it could be slightly less, maybe around 2.8, but as of right now, all I can tell you is 3 grams. It's not a very accurate scale. So this is roughly 3 grams here. We're also going to be testing the Runcam Eagle 3 Starlight. So this is supposed to have really great performance in low light conditions and it's supposed to have really good quality as well. And this is a micro-sized camera that comes in at eight grams. So let's take a look at some of the accessories. Let's start with the Nano since it doesn't have many things. It comes in this little box right here, really nice packaging as you'd expect kind of. And for accessories, it just comes with a camera lens and this wire right here. Now, as you can tell, it comes with a really, really tiny connector here. And honestly, I, I kind of prefer solder because it'll be easier to fix because if this were to break in the future, then you're gonna have to go purchase one and wait about a week or two depending on how long or from where you purchase it. But yeah, that's just up to you right there. It'll be very difficult to uh, solder something to this unless you have some mad skills to get that, uh, remove that connector and probably solder directly to it. But yeah, they give you the adapter here. So now let's talk about the latency here. So this is actually pretty interesting here because this thing got 1.2 milliseconds to 1.28 milliseconds of latency, which is pretty freaking amazing here for this little tiny camera. Uh, quality, don't know yet. I don't know if I'll put this on something or probably just end up giving it away to my Patreons. I'll figure that out later on. Now again, the weight is roughly around eight grams. It's not the most accurate scale. And the latency, it was to be expected that it's going to be pretty high uh, due to its quality. And well, I'm guessing it's quality because usually the Runcam Eagle brand, the Eagle models, have the best quality or have some of the best stuff. Uh, but the latency does increase with quality most of the time. And that's what we do see here. It jumped up to 27.8 milliseconds. So it, was, it wasn't it was really static. It was anywhere between 19.6 milliseconds to 27.8 milliseconds. Now this camera is not meant for racing. So you gotta keep that in mind and it has its own specific use case here. So if you needed one with really good low light conditions and good quality, this is the kind of camera you probably go and pick up. And um, yeah, so its latency is pretty high. It's in the 20s. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind when purchasing this. And you will definitely sort of start to feel it because it's very variable between 19 milliseconds to up to uh, 27 milliseconds. I haven't gotten it above 27 milliseconds. So we could say the maximum was 27. But yeah, um, that's just something to take into consideration. So yeah, everything is linked down below, guys. You can check those out. Those greatly support the channel. I also have a 7% coupon code for anything off uh, that's RC related that's currently not on sale on Banggood. You could go ahead and use it. Got it just for you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.